Hi everybody, um, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing. Um, I'm filming this after I did the tutorial, so this is going to be kind of put in front as a prequel. Um, I call this Dueling Banjos, partly because I could not decide which way I wanted to go with um, the band placement. As you can see, they're two slightly Oops, slightly different variations. So I want to get them as close as I can without it going blurry. I demonstrate how to put okay, first of all, the A colored bands. The A are the white, the B are the uh, pastel peach, the C color bands are the gray, and the D are the glow in the dark blue. On either variation, the A bands are placed first. On this one, you will alternate alternate placing B, C, B, C, B, C all the way up the loom. On this one, you will place all the B, then all the C, and then finally on both, you'll place the D bands. Um, so I do show a demonstration of, of how to place them for this, and then I do a full demonstration on this. This is what it looks like on the reverse side. Both are a little different. And I do show um, the other bands, the other bracelets I made in fuller detail as the video goes on. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a heads up that there are two ways to make this. I guess this would be version A and this is version B. Oops. So either way, I think they're both nice, but just a little bit different than each other. And look, enjoy the tutorial. And hopefully, I haven't totally confused you. But I did want to. I made this after the tutorial was done. I figured do them in the same color so you can see exactly um, how different and or alike they are. Bye bye. Or not really bye bye continue on with my video, hopefully. All right, bye. <laughs> I did it again. Oh, cancel the bye. See ya. Hi, everybody. This is Debbie from Deb's Thing, and I hope you'll bear with me. I am feeling especially lousy, but I feel very anxious to get a tutorial done. Um, keep up some sort of pace. Uh, I've told a few of you I want wanted to get a whole bunch of tutorials and all the photographs taken and then I can take a month off from touching the bands to rule out whether, you know, all this that's been going on is caused by the bands. I highly, highly doubt it. I'm pretty sure, and my doctor's pretty sure it's a, um, a drug reaction, although I've been off of oh, most drugs you know, months now that might be the cause but anyways back to this um i've called this dueling banjos not because i'm a i'm into country music or play a banjo or anything but um two things this and this are a little different if you look at the pink bands here they just kind of go under the blue here but the green bands here go kind of across. It's just a very slight variation in how the bands are placed. They're looped back the same, but these two bands, the bands in the middle here, um, are placed a little differently. So I couldn't decide which one I like the best, so I'll show you both options. So a little bit of dueling going on of which ones I like. And then for whatever reason, it just took me so long to decide on how I wanted this design to look. So it was kind of a dueling, a battle, as Ben, you know, dueling is a sort of battle. Um, this one here, I'll just real quickly, the bronze here are the A colored bands, the green are B, the red are C, and the blue and white bands here are D. On this one for bands A and D, I use the same color, and it gives a nice thicker, you know, um, 
border, but unfortunately these are the silicone bands and for some reason so, so, several of them broke. So anyways, there was a lot of battle, battling and deciding exactly how I want to do it. I don't need to get into the details. This one, this one turned out nice. I mean, this one's interesting. Not my color scheme, but figured some people like those. Anyhow, let's focus on these two. And what I was going to say just slipped my mind. Anyhow, these are the bands I am going to use for demonstration. And oh, also this is a three pin design, which I've been really trying to find new and innovative and you know, different than what's been seen designs um, with just three bars. It's you know more challenging, but I know many people just have one loom. So I want to make sure I keep making uh, two and three bar designs. So for color A, which again is the bronze here and the teal here, I am just going to be using white. The B colored bands, which you can see here are the pink and here are the green. I am going to be using the um, pastel color. It's, it's like a salmon color. The red bands and the blue bands here are my C color. I will be using gray. And this outer band here, which is white here and the dual colors here, I am going to be using the glow in the dark blue. Uh, I will briefly instruct you on how to um, do this one. As again, I see the difference here is the pink does not go all the way across. It kind of disappears. It just kind of shows up like a open V where this way the color goes all the way across. So I'm going to demonstrate this band placement here for colors B and C and then I will you know take those off and show you how to do it this way. So color A it's the same irregardless of which version of the dueling bandros you like. You'll do this and then place color A all the way up both sides. I'm just going to quickly show you how to you know, go to the end of the And then you'll do this and then do the same up this side. I know I'm usually a little more, um, a bit of more conversationalist while I'm doing this, but. <sighs> Me's a bit weary today, which is another reason why I'm doing the shorter band, shorter length and not a full length. Okay, so that's the A color. Now, if you like the way this looks, over the way this looks, you are going to alternate the placement of your B and C color. So here's the B. So you would place one B triangle like this. And then you will take two bands of your color C and stretch them across like this. Then you will do another B color pushed on down place two of the C colors make sure they are nice and neat 
and not all messed up like this. If you have trouble doing that, just place one and then the other. And you will continue this sequence all the way up to your last triangle here for B color and then two C's up here. Okay? So this method of placement will give you this look okay, as opposed to this. Now I'm going to show how to make it so that the B color bands are more prominent. And I hope this doesn't confuse you. It loops, you know, when you loop it all back, it's all the same. Okay, so you'd start like this. But instead of alternating the B and the C bands, for this look, you will place all the B bands first. All the way up the loom. So this is the only variation in the whole thing, is this design you alternate the B and C bands as you place them going up the loom. And for this variation, you do all the B's, then all the C's. Hope that makes sense. I don't want to confuse all of you, any of you, not all of you, any of you. All right, we're almost done here. This is so amazing how quickly it gets done when you just use one loom length. Okay, so that's how you'd finish up and of course, if you were doing it the other way, after you place this, you'd put the two bands here, the C-colored bands. But now, with this version, just double up your B band, or your C-colored bands, press them down a little bit, and just do this all the way up. Oh my gosh, I think I'm still on the first take, the first video segment. I don't think I've stopped this. I guess I'm anxious just to do this and get it done so I can go crash on the sofa with my legs up and ignore the rest of the world for a few hours. Fortunately I have to do that more than I like to, but it is necessary. Alright, almost done here. Just want to keep them from overlapping. Just want them neatly stacked on top of each other. And if you have to do it one band at a time like this, that's fine too. But as you get uh, more dexterous, is that how you say dexterous? Dexterous? Where your hands work better and become more coordinated. You can place two at a time, and they don't overlap like that. <laughs> oh, what a great demonstration of how advanced loomer I am. <laughs> I don't like that band anyways. It's too loose. Loosey-goosey, I don't want. All right. <laughs> yes, my children laugh at me on a regular basis. I'm such... A nut in their eyes. That's okay. All right, now that's the only difference on either design. You will then take your D colored bands or D placement. You can, you know, use your white again if you want more of a look like this. But if you want some kind of contrast, then you will choose a fourth color. 
some of these are just they almost feel like I've used them before they feel they don't have a lot of um, elasticity they're very loose and hopefully it won't that one felt good you do want these decolor bands a little snappy so that they make a nice border so I'm hoping that these glow-in-the-dark blues, I think they're electric blue, a couple of them every now and then feel nice and tight, but the rest of these feel a little like they've already been stretched out. Okay, as you, if you noticed, I start here and just go to here. No, no angling or placing, you know, parallel, just straight up the side for the decolored or depositioned bands. These are so loose. Oh, everything inside me saying you're going to regret using these. Oops. Call him back in a second because I was going to go off camera right after this. Oops, one too many. Okay, and I used the white for the end, which I'm going to use for my extension. All right, I'll be right back. I can't remember now if um, I instructed you to make sure you place a cap on the end, but anybody who's done any bracelets knows that you need a cap on the end to hold it all together. So now we can turn it around, reach under the band, or the cap rather, and these two um, C color bands, you're gonna bring one to the left Whichever one is on top, do that one first. Then bring one to the right. Then you are going to reach, and it'll be the same sequence um, regardless of how the bands are placed. It still works out the same. And if it doesn't, if my memory fails me, you just work with whatever band's on top. <laughs> that one out. So this B colored band is going to go straight up and then you will grab these end bands and bring one to the left and one to the right. Now you will begin the sequence that you're going to do all the way up the loom. You are going to take the top band, bring it out, then bring the next band, bring it out, and then bring your triangle band up to the center. Oops, you know what? I goofed. This should have been done first, so I'm so sorry. So we'll just take this off. So pretend we did this one first, these two first on the outside, and then you put that one on top. My bad. You will see the correct sequence in the next section of bands. Okay, so do that first, then put that one. I am so sorry. So let's pretend we're starting over with our sequence. <laughs> we're going to go up the loom by taking the f outer bands, just the top, the top one. Okay. See this bottom layer. We're going to wait and do last. So one, two, and then take this one and bring it out. I'm so sorry for that, but hopefully that wasn't too confusing. And then bring the center one up. Do the outside top bands first. Then 
take the two center C bands, bring one out to the left, bring one out to the right, and then reach in, grab the tip of that triangle, and bring it forward. I'll show you one more time. Bring the outer band, one, on each side, bring it up, bring the two center bands out here, one to the left and one to the right, and then take the tip of the triangle and bring it straight forward. And you are going to do that all the way up to, you know, this last section. It'll be the same sequence, and then I'll show you how to finish it up. Okay, this is what the last sequence looks like. The last band I did was I took the triangle of the um, pastel um, peach color and brought it forward. Now we are going to do these A colored bands up each side. And I'll probably just stay on camera for this because. It should go very quickly. They're just single chain looping. The only time you have to go a little slower is when you have the, the dual colored bands because, you know, these like to, I had a couple um, kind of turned inside out and you have to play around with them and just be a little more delicate when you pull them out try to keep them all going in the same direction but if one of these opaque white bands are a little twisted you're not going to notice unless you look really close and then this last one here you will just take to the center uh, hopefully my hand wasn't too much in the way So this is super, super quick, last part of the design. I just feel so glad when I have another design um, recorded, recorded, videotaped, filmed, as Jay's likes to say. Film, we don't film anymore because filming requires film and everything's digital now. Oh my goodness. My hubby needs me. Okay. I just want to finish this up. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to come back and show you how to take it off. And I, I'll definitely be putting an extension on this one. But I need to make sure my husband doesn't need anything. Be right back. Hello again. I totally spaced out on doubling up so that I could make a double thick um, extension. I really don't like making um, single thickness extensions. I think they're very wimpy, but what can you do? Here I am. So I'm just going to add a few bands on this side. I've done this. I haven't made an extension in a long time. But what I do is, I like my clip in the middle, as it would be when you do a full loom, um, full, you know, double, a full, a full wrap bracelet, the clip automatically ends up in the middle. So, now we will take... some reason I just feel that this design will look better if I take off the sides at the same time. I think if you pull one off and then the other sometimes the bands, the tension of the bands will be different. I don't know. It's just a guess. There you go. I like, I really like this color combination actually. I'm going to have to play around with it in another design. So here you have the um, P 
peach colored bands, the salmon colored bands, more just, you know, more distinct than the pink here, which I think is a good comparison because they're so close in color. Um, so either way, I've shown you how to do it both, you know, both ways. And these loosey goosey um, glow in the darks, I guess did okay. Just pull them out and try to keep them, make them even. It's just such a little tiny bracelet <laughs> compared to the double length. <laughs> it's so funny. I haven't done these in a while. So, anyways, I'm going to quickly make an extension. One, two, three. Four. Grab your cap, put it over the end. I hear a whining pup in the background. I think he has to go for a walk. <laughs> he just walked out. All right. So there's the other side of the extension. Pop the clip on, and there you have, uh, what do I call this, dueling banjos. And I should also point out, I totally forgot, that's what I forgot, is, let me see, get them going the same direction here. Um, on the one where you don't see the B color bands all the way across, they give a little bit different shape. So you can see there's a little difference on this side. So, I mean, it could be reversible either side. Like, see this guy right here? He did not come over as nicely. But if you just pull it out and kind of do that, then he behaves. All right. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial for dueling banjos. It's nothing to do with bracelets, but, you know, sometimes you just come up with a name. Um... Be sure to like this design if you do indeed like it. Feel free to subscribe to Deb's Thing. And of course, check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. Have a good night.